This tutorial will show you how to generate your defined PDF with hyperlinks to your annotated uh, case report form or uh, source data. So uh, to do that, uh, you would first select the information screen here. And this tells you where it will create hyperlinks to your uh, transport files and also um, links to your case report forms when the data is a source variable. Now this is a relative path relative to the location where your final uh, defined PDF or defined XML is generated here. So I have that PDF file over here and if I were to um, right now it's, it's just a blank folder if I were to open it up it has a series of sample case report forms here. So if I were to um, leave it as is and generate this PDF it will have all the hyperlinks to that one specific PDF file and not necessarily um, to each individual page. So this is an example where uh, if I were to have let me zoom in a little bit so you can see so if I were to look at this PDF file that it generated in the uh, AE dataset or the AE domain you can see that there's a column for source in the origin so right now this will just link to that one single um, PDF that we were pointing it to as you can see from the file name is that one single sample CRF but what if we wanted to for example you know jump to specific pages if for example the adverse event is um, this is just an example but let's say it's on page um, in this case I think it's page 7 and then maybe other CRFs are in different pages so in order to have that be applied you would need to perform a split CRF and I'll explain how to do that to do that what you do is you go in here and you click on the split CRF option what that does is it takes the original case report form PDF and it's going to split it into individual pages for each dataset domain and when I click on that I can have different assignments um, I think I said it was was it page 7 I forget what it was uh, let me try that again so if I were to have the AE now put in 7 here and make that assignment and then here are some other examples but let's say the DM is page 1 I had previously typed in some sample numbers here um, page 2 for uh, IE and so forth these are all fictitious but you can make different page assignments to each individual um, data set here so in this example it's going to split up the original case report form which is listed up here into individual separate ones for it to link to the right location so if I hit OK it's actually going to perform that split so if I go to that directory where I had um, that one single PDF uh, it actually generates a report as well describing the fact that it has taken the original CRF page uh, and then uh, PDF and it split it into a whole bunch of different pages down here. But let me go to that directory and I can show you that um, that actually took place. So originally that file was a single file as a, a sample CRF here, but now you can see it have several different individual files. For example, the AE is now just a single PDF page for adverse events and the other uh, pages are fictitious but there are other pages within that um, original case report form. So now I can make my hyperlink link to individual pages instead of the, the single big PDF file. In order to do that I would actually need to select the folder and what this means is that I'm just going to give it a folder name here and so it's going to go to that folder and link to the individual um, PDF files instead of you know one file so now if I were to regenerate that PDF file it's going to hyperlink more intelligently to individual um, pages you know that separate 
split CRFs. So um, let me show you now what it looks like. So if I were to zoom in a little bit here and show you that in this case, in the AE, I still have the hyperlinks as before where it um, it has all these hyperlinks to the source, but if I click on one, it actually links to the actual adverse events. So if you look at the, um, the, the, the file up here, it's actually linking to the AE PDF. So the user doesn't really have to know what the names of the files are, and but uh, the difference here is that it's hyperlinking to the correct pages or the correct split pages of the original uh, def uh, case report form that was one large file. So that's how you can um, cr have these links link to individual pages uh, through the ability of splitting a case report form into um, specific pages for each data domain.